We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Is it my imagination, or are you using even more these days? Lonely Hearts Club Band. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems, like we always did. We could always work things out. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. I'd give anything to see her standing here again, making coffee or sandwiches. I made my own too, of course, but it just made me happy to see her. When she was happy, she'd hum her favorite songs as she'd put her around. I can't remember the last time. The stove looks like something from World War I. Someone said, work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud? Or did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me and I made so little happen all this time. It all seems so meaningless now, drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No, of course not. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. I almost have it. What was she trying to tell me? Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. I kept saying I'd paint these chairs, add some color to this place. One more thing I never got around to. How I longed to see her sitting in this chair again. It must be any minute now. She must be coming back. These chairs numbed my back. Hers too. But I just got used to it. We could have gotten new ones. For all the charm of furniture like this, something about it reminds me of Ingmar Bergman. Sort of brooding. When did we let this window get so gunked up? There didn't seem to be much reason to keep it clean. Just overgrown bushes outside, brambles and thistles. I should clean the cabin. As a surprise, perhaps. No. Better wait until she gets back. Why? I might just as well stay here. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. I remember us washing it, properly in the lake many summers ago. Once. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? And no trap door under there, just more creaky floor. Years passed, no tears fell, no death knell reached the golden shores they trod. Another love story without a happy ending. Time works differently in the other world. She's gone, and even then I just keep reading. But it's always been my way of looking for answers, processing information. I can think of worse ways. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? 
I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. We found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. As always, I automatically went to the window side and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Maybe if I go to sleep I will wake up and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. But I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. We seem to take fewer and fewer walks as the years went by. Everything around here is so familiar. Everybody thinks that living out in the middle of a dark, dense forest is so romantic. Nothing but you and nature. Serena and I thought so too, once. That is, until the loneliness kicked in. Why did we choose this place? We were both so young and spontaneous. Why did we suddenly decide we should let our love wither away in a still life? The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. Proust wrote all his life about the associative power of tastes and smells. He spent his last years in retreat from the world, though, writing in a cork-lined bedroom. It's too tangy, too poignant. Brings it all back. Do I even matter to you anymore? Do you even notice anything I do? How I look? How I smell? She once told me how I supposedly used words to fool her somehow, but what did she think this stuff was? Natural? How was I supposed to react when she used this, anyway? She knew I loved her, it's not like we have to say it over and over again. The smell of this disgusts me. So many lies, so much deceit. She probably left it here just to spite me. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I torture myself trying to remember. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. I'm too upset to even think straight. I hate her so much. I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number on me. She never descended to criticizing my looks, though. Even when we fought, even when my hairline started going. It was a sore point for me. My thoughts are all over the place. Get it together, damn it! How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always fixing her hair before bed. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm, I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? <sighs> I'm too angry to even care. All she cared about was herself all along. Her needs, her feelings. That's all that ever mattered to her. What about mine? All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost, such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again. Make and then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around.
bird song. Nothing feels worse when there's no hope, no chance of anything. <laughs>